first? Um, just not much change on, on, on the Nigerian bores today um, with, on the back of those Stambik IBTC results. Yeah, um, Stambik IBTC had a dip in the profit before tax, um, closing at 5.1 billion. They also had a provision about 5.9 billion, which um, personally I think was very cautious. Um, which it showed that Stamic IBTC all through the year have been cautious in their uh, risk assets creation. Uh, if you compare this to a similar result released by EcoBank, which had uh, over 33.4 billion in terms of provisioning, um, which made the, and eventually they had a loss of um, 8.2 billion after tax. So this is in, in respect to Stamic IBTC, I believe they have uh, operated cautiously in the, in the Nigerian uh, in the Nigerian market over the year, and um, they have, um, even though their gross earnings have not um, increased by any, uh, even though their gross earnings have actually dipped also, but we've seen that they've been able to manage a flat, flat, flat line business uh, state, which, uh, while well, considering the business circumstances, is not is not a very bad um, plan to have. This morning on, our, on, on Street Talk, um, Alicia Sekum was speaking to our market watcher and he highlighted for the first time that uh, Stambik IBTC would be the perfect bank to be looking for an acquisition. What's your view on this? Uh, well, depending on what the CBN comes out with. Um, we know that Stambik IBTC and um, and a lot of other foreign banks have been looking at expanding their retail structures in Nigeria. We know that um, EcoBank tried um, just after consolidation to acquire Unity. They had merger talks with First Bank, which all came to a stalemate. But we know that uh, we also know that foreign banks need to grow their retail structures in Nigeria for them to actually maximize what is. The, what is obtainable in the country. So they will be looking at acquisitions in the tier two banks that, have, uh, that are having problems. They will also be strategizing on how, uh, what banks to pick and what banks will actually give them the most benefit. It is, it is, it is, it is a possible thing. It, is, um, it will be a strategic um, plus for them if they can get this. But just uh, looking in terms of confidence in the market, how likely is it that uh, Stanbeck and First Bank and EcoBank can really recoup um, their bad debt? We've seen the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has so far recovered 171 billion uh, from the eight banks in question. Um, but what's your view on this? Uh, well, fundamentally, I think um, the recovery is also, they have there's strong links with the capital market. Uh, recovery on the capital markets will also enhance the recoveries that these banks can make. So it's a systemic thing. Uh, we see the central bank pumping liquidity into the system. And um, over time, with the creation of this asset management company they are looking at, which is waiting, awaiting ratification by the National Assembly, we, we expect the recoveries to happen. Um, how long is it going to take? Maybe in mid next year we'll see a lot of more recoveries coming into the sector. But it's all, it's all linked to the stock market and how much it performs and how much it's able to recover. Just uh, very quickly, I wanted to just take a look at the currency. The Naira has really weakened since the central bank supplied fewer dollars uh, than the market was expecting. Is there a chance that um, the bank will actually increase dollar supply? Um, well, presently the CBN has also mandated that, well, they've also made it official that um, the Naira will trade between the bands um, of around 150, um, around 150 Naira to the dollar mark with plus or minus 3%. So uh, even if the CBN will eventually meet the demand of, um, of currency, but they will want to trade within those bands they've already they've set. Uh, based on the demand, we still see that demand is not as high as it used to be. Um, once, lending, when, once lending to institutions and all companies also pick up, we will know that our bank's um, demand will increase also and uh, CBN will be able to meet up to this demand. But we know that Naira will stabilize around that, around that region. And um, uh, as much as it's depreciating now, we'll see that um, in the next, uh, next auction, we'll, we'll